Now to Yossi Meckelberg in London, a professor of international relations at Regents University. Thank you very much for being with us. Now, many might say that with COVID-19 still a huge global threat, Pompeo's talks could have been postponed or carried out via video link. What was so pressing that he had to go in person to Israel? Uh, it's, it's an interesting question because, as we know, most of our life moved on all sorts of other virtual reality platform, so why the need to fly all the way from Washington but uh, to, to Tel Aviv and have the discussion in Jerusalem. I think he tried to make a point how important is this meeting and the issue that they discussed to both Washington and, and, and Jerusalem. And it was very much about the theater and the architecture of it as the content itself. Because that mainly in this very short eight hours a visit for issues to discuss. One was Iran, especially when the embargo on arms supply to Iran is about to expire uh, coming October, and it doesn't look as the Security Council is going to change it. Uh, the second thing is, of which is urgent, is the annexation that the new Israeli government is, is suggesting that it's one of its first measures in government is to annex. And to other things is the cooperation actually on the issue of COVID-19 and the relation between Israel and China that irritates the Trump administration. So it was quite an heavy agenda. And I think Pompeo and the Trump administration tried to make a point that this needs face-to-face -face meeting. Now, this week's renewed violence in the West Bank wasn't, though, mentioned. No, I think if you look, uh, for instance, an interview that uh, Mike Pompeo gave to an Israeli newspaper, a very right-wing Israeli newspaper, he talked all the time about the Trump vision. It's not a plan anymore, but apparently it's a vision for peace. We all know that this is not a vision that can work because there is no partner for it. But the more Palestinians would feel threatened that at least 30% of their occupied territory is going to be annexed, and by this, uh, nulling the, the, the possibility of self-determination of Palestinians, the annexation of, of the Jordan Valley, the more you would expect to see a reaction. One wouldn't like to see violence, but at the same time, uh, it doesn't seem that both Washington and Jerusalem are leaving the Palestinians any other diplomatic route about expressing their, their will for self-determination and to end the occupation. Now, how might we expect the Trump administration to work and to interact with the new Israeli coalition government, which will be, of course, sworn in this Thursday? It's, 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 it's again, it's, it's, it's a bit unknown because the, 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 the Trump administration is very much under pressure right now and a pressure that it hasn't experienced before. And it seems all, almost that uh, a second Trump administration was inevitable. And then came the pandemic uh, crisis, and the, the, the fortunes have turned against the Trump administration. And he's looking, Trump himself, and then his, his supporter for a way out of this predicament and give them a better uh, a chance to win the next election. And one of them is to appease the, the evangelists, the Christian Zionist supporters in the United States. And it seems that more than the Israeli government uh, pushes towards annexation, it seems the other way around, because this will score them some point in the, in the election. I think where the, the, the Trump administration and then Netanyahu, new governments are actually well coordinated in, on the Iranian issue, because both of them want to stop Iran from developing nuclear weapon uh, to stop Iranian, what they say is Iranian aggression in the region, and at the same time to destroy once and for all the, the agreement, the GCOPA. And I think this is this is what they, they coordinated. The problem with that, they don't leave also room for diplomatic efforts to negotiate with Tehran.